In this video, I want to show you how to set up an online store website in just a few steps. The first time you install Divi, it looks very basic. But once you install my child theme, your website is going to look like this. Now, let me show you how you can set this up on your own website. And by the way, I have a 50% discount for this child theme. Links to that in the video description below. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to need for your online shop website is great hosting. And the hosting I highly recommend is SiteGround. And if you use the link in the video description below, you are going to get 73% off. Now, once you've purchased your hosting, the next thing you want to do is to install WordPress. Now, once WordPress is installed, you're going to get a basic WordPress install. And then the next thing you want to do is to download Divi. So again, I have a 10% discount link in the video description below, which will get you 10% off Divi. So I already have an account. So you want to log in, go to your downloads and then click download the theme. So to install it, you want to come over here to appearance and then click on themes. Okay, so when you install uh, WordPress for the first time, you're going to get this 2022 theme by default, but in your case, you want to click on add new and then upload the theme onto your dashboard and then click on activate. Now, once activated, you now have a WordPress website running Divi. So when you first install Divi, it looks like this. It's very basic, nothing really exciting there, but our goal here is to get an online shop website up and running. So this is where you need to install my child theme called Woo Crafter. Again, it's got a 50% discount. Link to that in the video description below. All right, so what you need to do next is to come over here to plugins and then click on add new. Click on upload plugin. So I have my plugin here on my desktop, but in your case, after purchasing it, you'll get a link to download. And here it is, Woo Crafter. So all I have to do is to drag and drop it here. Or you can click on choose file and navigate to where it is on your computer. Next, you wanna click on install now. So this plugin that we are installing is what has the child theme. It has all the files that you need. You don't have to do anything extra. Just by installing this, you're going to get your foundation of your website. Okay, so my plugin has installed. Now all I have to do is to click on activate. So now that is activated, the next step now is to install it. So over here on the left, you're going to see an entry called Woo Crafter. Click once on it. You wanna scroll all the way down here and click begin import. Now, before I do that, I wanna show you something very interesting. Now you see that on the homepage of our website here, this is just our default page. It has a blog page as our default, but of course we don't want that when we're running an online shop website. We need a nice landing page, which has all our products on it so it can attract all our customers. This child theme is going to allow you to set your homepage. It's gonna set all your content, your widgets, your menus, pretty much everything that you need in order for your website to run correctly. Now that we've established this, let's go ahead and begin the import. So I'm gonna click here. And now it's importing all the files that I need on my site in order for it to run as an online shop website. Now, while this is installing, I'd just like to remind you that in order for this to work properly, you need to be running the latest version of Divi and you have to run Divi on your site. Without Divi, this will not work. We are now installing WooCommerce, as you can see. Now, I'm glad this happened while, uh, while I'm recording this. So you can see here, it says uh, something went wrong. Now, sometimes when we install WooCommerce, because it's a big plugin, it times out. So all you have to do is to click on retry step and it'll try again. And hopefully this time this should go through. So you can see here now WooCommerce has installed. Okay, so looks like everything has been imported. So just remember that when something gets stuck, just retry a few times and that should be fine. All right, so now I'm gonna come all the way down here just to make sure and I can see here everything is all good. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is to delete this plugin. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on installed plugins and we're just going to deactivate WooCrafter and then delete it. So remember, when we started off, we had a basic site that looks like this. Now, I want you to see what happens now after we've installed this child theme. So I'm just gonna come over here and say visit site. I'm gonna open this in a new tab so we can see the difference. Okay, so this is what our website looks like. So you can see I have some demo products that I've uh, pre-installed for you, but these can be updated or deleted. 
So definitely this is a much better website as compared to what we had here by default. Now let me show you how to add your own products and update your WooCommerce website. So in my example here, I'm gonna have a site that sells shoes. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm now enable the visual builder. So the first thing I wanna do is to get rid of this main image because this does not represent my online shop. So in your case, you may have a totally different type of shop that you may want to uh, set up. So that's the main image that you add on here. All right, so let's change our background image. So I'm gonna come over here, click on my settings. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come all the way down here to my background and then look for my image, which is right here. So let's go ahead and delete it and add a brand new image. Now I already have an image in my media library here. So I just have to scroll here and find it. And the image I'm going to use is this one right here, okay? Click upload image. And now that is my background image. So now I can just change my text here by scrolling up to the top, click on text. So you can just change this text to whatever you want here and also the description text. And also on the button here, you can change uh, what this button says and also update the link by coming over here to your button URL. All right, so that's it for our main hero area. The next thing you wanna do is to uh, head over here. So you can see we have an image. So you may want to change this image here into something else. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here and go into my settings. I'm going to click here and choose an image that works with my online shop. And the image I'm going to use is, uh, let's go with this one here. Upload image, there we go. So I've just updated my image here. I'm gonna save. And like we did before, you can always go in here and change this text. This is just a text module. Everything is all set up for you. So you can just go in here and update your text. All right, so now that we've uh, changed this image here, the next important part is to go in and start adding all our products because, because what I've done here is I've added some dummy products, but you also need to go in and change those to whatever it is you want. So let me show you how to do that. So come over here to my dashboard. Okay, so let's go to our products, which are right here. Click on all products. So updating our products here is very, very easy. So let me just do product one here and show you how easy it is. So I'm gonna click here on edit. So now what you need to do is to set your product name. So I'm just gonna call this new product. What we also need to do is to come over here to the permalink and just paste new product in here and then click on okay. All right, so now that these two parts are done, you just go ahead and add your description here. But the most important thing is to come over here to your product image and change this. So I'm going to go in here and choose a different product image. I'm gonna go with, um, you know what? Let's go with this one here. Set product image. So now my product has updated. Fantastic, and over here we can change our price. So let's say this is $5.99, and then the sale price is $2.99. Excellent, so now that we have all this, all I have to do now is to hit update. Now I wanna show you something really amazing here when we take a look at our product page. All right, so this is the product page. You can see here in the background that we have a little glimpse of the shoes here, and it also gives the product name. And when we scroll down here, this is our price. You can see that this is our discounted price here. You can also add to cart. And when you scroll down here, we have our description and also our reviews. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to update and our product page is already designed for us. So all you have to do now is to go ahead and add all your products and they will have this same setup. And then finally, you also need to add your PayPal details and also your Stripe uh, details and pretty much you have an online working shop. And by the way, if you purchase Woolcrafter, it comes with a mini course. So the course will show you further how to customize this theme. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.